Okay, so we're going to discuss a wash. So right here we have a three-tone bracer. Right? We've used the silver, the yellow, and the black. And it looks brand new and super sparkly and very, very clean. But if you want this to have some patina to it, make it look a little older, and really highlight the grooves and the texturing you did to make the part, as well as give it that kind of battered used look. Um, what we're gonna do is just a simple wash. So what we have is a half inch chip brush. It's already wet from earlier use. We have our dark uh, paint. That's what we're gonna use to get the color to sort of smear. We have water for rinsing and we have a spray bottle as well as a bunch of paper towels for blotting. So the goal here is to get the paint just thin enough to where it collects in all the details and pools, but doesn't stay present on the remaining part. So we're all gloved up. We're just trying to dilute this paint to the point where it's easy to add and remove to our bracer. So I'm adding just a little bit of water to mix that up. And you want it wet so that if there's anything you don't want, it comes off very easily with the wiping that we're going to do with our paper towels. It's also important to leave a container to throw all your paper towels because you've got to work fairly quick. But we're going to go through and just cover this surface. All that hard work, covered in black paint. You're trying to get it in the low grooves. You're not so worried about the high spots. Those will come off fairly quick. But to give it all of that patination that's necessary, you just want to get a nice coating across the surface with something wet enough that it can be wiped off. Okay. So now, just using a wadded paper towel to wipe off all the excess paint, squeegee style, get as much off as we can, and then just know that your gloved hand is going to leave a mark, so I'm going to try and keep my thumbs directly over the um, <laughs> black painted region so I don't mark up new areas where I'm trying to pull out that patina. Okay, So that bright yellow is getting a little more muted, but you'll also notice that in some of these cracks there are spots that aren't receiving the patina. So this rag is pretty much toast. And at this point I will switch to a fresh rag and use that to jump gently clean off my gloved hand so I can grab and then get more even patina. Now if you're worried that there's too much patina it's still drying and what you can do is just gently wet your rag to take the patina back a little more. You can do that with the spray bottle or you can do that with the cup. But then you can buff back your highlights and your low lights to whatever you think is befitting the design you had in mind. So if you want some really bright yellows in there, you can wipe it all the way back. If you like the darkness, what you can do is come back just with a little bit of patina and hit those spots. But right now, my concern is that these little triangles need to have a little more pop to them. And these corners need a little more scrubbing. So the nice part is we've got these really good low lights that are darkened and roughed up, 
but then there's sections here where there's actually a crack in the black leather and you'd want that to indicate that maybe this is actually metal that's been painted over. So what I'm going to do is just grab the silver paint and fill that region and then wipe it back immediately. And I should be clear, that isn't actually silver paint. That is the pewter paint uh, provided by Angelus. So not silver, but pewter. So I've got my wet wipe ready to go. Got my silver. I'm just going to go straight into that cut groove to indicate that maybe that there was something else present. And then before that dries completely, I'm just going to use a dry rag to get the surface, and then a wet rag to just dab, and then there'll be a slight hint of silver in that crack to imply that underneath all of this black and white cautions or black and yellow caution paint there's actually some good solid metal under there okay and that brings a darker patina and so the question is do you want to come back and buff out some high spots the way you think this would wear um, and you can do that by just touching up again with a wet rag and some of the brighter paint